Lisa, congratulations. Another number 10 speech. And I think we need to give these two people a big hand. It was not only your 10th speech, Lisa, but on a scale of 1 to 10, you're 10.5. Really well done. And I like the way you began it. And you carried that theme throughout. And it's a wonderful quote, and you had it, you were introduced that way, that travel, you start speechless, and you end up with great stories. And you did that just right on target. I have traveled extensively, and I have had the pleasure of going to Italy as well as United Kingdom. It brought back wonderful memories. So not only did you start with a good quote, and you connected immediately with us, but then you start telling us these wonderful stories. And I'd like to tell you, when I went to Italy, which was just a few years ago, I was not a sophomore in high school. <laughs> so I excuse myself that I did not fall on the paper. But those wonderful pictures that you showed, any of us that have traveled in Italy brought back just terrific memories. And then your United Kingdom. I have to admit that I did not go to the Harry Potter Museum or anything like that. But again, wonderful, wonderful pictures. You have confidence. And your confidence is not only in your voice, but it's also what you did. You spoke, you had these images, and then you had your bag, fluffy bag. <laughs> and that was amazing how you, wound, you put that all together and did that very well. Your body language is excellent. You're enthusiastic, you're energetic, and all we can say is, when, when can we get on the next plane and go to wherever? The things that you asked me to look at, which you hit outside the park, was that you would really inspire us, and you did. And the second thing was that you hit the time, and you did that excellently. So you, you, you knocked that right out of the park, both of those things. Um, and um, so I would say, um, in, uh, and, and again, I struggle, and that's, I'm struggling right now. What is there to improve? Not much. And I'm kind of grabbing at things. You have a delightful sense of humor. And I wish you would share that more with us. It, it kind of sneaks in there, but, but that humor is, is terrific. And, and um, so I, I would say that. And um, uh, that's, uh, there was a second point, but being old, I can't think of it now. <laughs> so, thank you so much. And I'm ready to pack my bags and get on the next plane, but I have an important holiday party to go to tonight. Yeah. <laughs>